Good morning. My name is Tina Bowman. My family and I have been members of Woodlake Church for 26 years. When I think about worship, the very first word that comes to mind is honor. We honor God. This is our time of worship is to honor God. It's how I visualize what love looks like. From the time you walk in and you have the fellowship to when you hear the music start to play and I can't wait to see what we're going to sing and you sing and praise God and then there's a time in your still and you listen to the scripture and how God talks to you through the scripture. And then next is the message, the message that speaks to each one of us in different ways from God. Then we have a time where we talk to God in our prayers. We talk as a whole church. We talk individually. We lift up our prayers, our concerns, our praises to God. And then there's the Sundays when we have communion, a holy time. All of them fit together to make the perfect worship for God. You can't have one without the other. It's kind of like peanut butter without jelly. My beautiful family in 2019 faced some of the hardest valleys that we faced in the past five years. My amazing husband, Dave, is my miracle. Woodlake worship and Woodlake church helped us in the deepest times of this valley. For 58 Sundays, my wonderful husband Dave and I had no choice. We were not able to attend church because of the health concerns, because of Dave's immune system. So for 58 Sundays, we were able to worship through his live stream. It gave us God's love continuously. There were periods of time where Dave and I spent long time in hospitals. And at one, one Sunday, our boys had brought Dave's iPad to the hospital. We were able to live stream the worship service here from Woodlake. It was amazing. We will never forget it. We were able to worship in a hospital room when it was a really deep valley. But not only could we worship, the nurses came in, the staff came in, they wanted to know what was going on. So we were able to show them the worship we had when we weren't able to come into the sanctuary. We'd like provided a way for us to see it outside. My famous line is, do I have a church for you? Several years ago, my wonderful husband Dave and I were invited to help be on a committee when Mercy Mall first started. At that time, Woodlake was offering, which they always do, these wonderful Bible studies. I happened to be in a Beth Moore Bible study, and a lovely lady came in and sat beside me. We started talking, and she seemed interested in Bible study, so I said, do I have a church for you? Told her all about Woodlake, and then she said, well, my husband's on his way here. I said, that's even better. The men's group has a great Bible study. Oh, I'm so excited. Continuously talked about it. And she goes, oh, Tina, here comes my husband. And he came over and said, Tina would like to tell you something. I said, do I have a church for you? And they all looked at me and she introduced her husband. He was the lead pastor at one of the Baptist churches here. So from that point on, our conversation was always, do I have a church for you? I personally intend to grow in my worship in this coming year. My one answer is Matthew 22 verses 37 and 38. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest commandment. By doing this every day, what Jesus told us to do, then worship will grow. It'll grow for all of us. Just give it a try.